There are plenty of challenges, of course, um, within the commons, how to organize it, how to make it thrive, how to make it sustainable, and so on and so forth. But I would rather prefer um, to think about the challenges from a societal perspective. That is, where are the main challenges with regard to um, base a society on commons principles, on the idea of the commons. And I would name three of them. First of all, the commons are invisible to us, or, or even more precise, um, they have been made invisible. That is, one of the challenges is that we need to make them visible. Actually, there are many ongoing mapping processes Everybody, for instance, knows where the next supermarket is. But uh, do you know at the place where you live where the next commons project is? So we need to map that and to make it visible. The second point uh, strictly related to the first is uh, that we even lost our language um, to speak about the commons. We already talked about some basic terms in the commons debate like commoner and commoning and how do you name them in your language. Actually our language has been commodified, it has been transformed in such a way that it reflects the thinking of a different a market driven mindset. We tend to speak about selling ourselves when we have to make an interview to get a job, for instance. So how do we decommodify language and how do we debunk language and that is the way we think from this market driven mindset and commodify it. And this relates obviously to perhaps the most important challenge that is, that during the last 150 years, 200 years almost, um, since the development of, of capitalism, I would say, um, the commons became, in a way, unthinkable. The political and economic mindset was changed, both with classical theory and later on with neoclassical theory until the neoliberal theory which evolved from out of another and turned the world into something which into something we describe with um, measurable terms we think that everything is comparable to another thing we think that the way consists of either or, of dualisms, and so on and so forth. So we, we, we tend to think in terms and categories, and we use words which objectify the world. And the commons is an approach where relationship is key where we need to understand that there is no either-or thing, that the world doesn't consist only of market on the one hand and state on the other hand, that we make the world together based on the very different worldviews and subjectivities we have to deal with in our everyday life. So I would say that and I will say it in German because it's very difficult for me to translate this into English. Die Comments haben keinen Welterklärungsanspruch, aber einen Weltgestaltungsanspruch. And we need to find a language to describe this Weltgestaltung.